Hello, folks. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements playing with some of the special effects. As we looked at in another tutorial, the program comes with nearly 300 preset effects. These effects are essentially working with the library effects, except they have some preset settings applied to them. And some of these include animation. So we looked at how you could use mosaic in and mosaic out to actually create a transition or to blur in and blur out to create a transition. But we're not going to work with the presets today. I want to work with the regular library of effects. I'm going to select the perspective category. We're going to create our own animated effect that we can use as a transition. So here I've got just two pretty basic clips driving down the road and people walking and I want to create a transition between the two. So I'm going to apply the basic 3D effect to the first clip. And before we do anything, you notice it has some settings applied to it already. It seems to be tilting. This basic 3D effect is pretty cool. It can make your video look like it's being rotated in a three-dimensional space. So we can create kind of a, a cool animation. What I want to do is make this video look like it's going to spin off into space. And when it spins back, we're in the second clip. So to create that, I want to move the playhead just a second or so before the video fades out. Or, or before the end of the clip. And then I'm going over here to the Applied Effects panel and opening up a keyframe controller. Now we have videos on basic keyframing. Once you master those, this is more advanced and a little more fun. Uh, this playhead is in sync to the one on the timeline. So I'm just going to toggle on animation by clicking on the stopwatch. That creates our initial keyframes. And I want everything up to this point to have no effects applied to it. So in other words, I want the clip to play like a normal clip. To do that, I just need to undo the effects that are applied right now. So to do that, I'm going to set swivel to 0%, tilt to 0%, and distance to 1. And there we go. Now it fills the frame. Everything up to this keyframe point is just going to be a normal video. I'm going to move the playhead to the end of the clip. And now we'll apply some crazy effects to it. Let's rotate it out. And I want to leave it kind of halfway rotated. There we go. And same with tilt. We'll spin it through space, but we want to leave it kind of there. And then distance from the image just as far out as we can go, which isn't very far. But it's far enough that it makes it look like it's flying out into space. Pretty cool. Now, cool little shortcut. Not only am we going to leave that as the end of the clip, so we're going to go from a normal video clip to a rotate through space and end at this point, I'm going to just copy these keyframes. And I'm going to do that by dragging to lasso them, then right click once they're selected and select copy. Let's see if this works. We're going to our other video clip. And I'm going to go back and apply that same effect, basic 3D, to the second clip. And when we go back here into the Applied Effects panel, I'm going to move the playhead to the very beginning of that clip. I'd like this clip to begin with the settings that the old clip ended on. So I'm going to, with the playhead at the very beginning, right click and select Paste. And look at that. It pasted the keyframe settings from the other clip onto this clip. We'll move our playhead out just about a second or so. And then once again, we'll set this to zero effect, which means zero swivel, zero tilt, distance one, and there we go. Now, let's see if this worked. We should have an animation that spins out, and when it spins back in, we're in the other clip. So we're going from one clip to another through a transition we created using keyframes. Let's play it and see. There we go. There's our spin out, and when it comes back in, what do you know? We're in our new clip. So we created a little transition here using the special effects just by applying some keyframing and some animation. But you can use keyframes along with virtually any effect to create some really cool animated and high level effects. If you want to know more about this program, check out the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about this program, every tool in the program, check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at amazon.com. And I'm Steve. I wrote the book. Hope to see you again real soon.